that there are infinite rational numbers between any two rational numbers. This may seem difficult at first, so let's see how. Any number on the number line represents how far it is from zero. If we're given two rational numbers, one by three and one by two or half, we can say that one by three is one third of a unit's distance from zero and one by two or half is half a unit's distance from zero. And this would be one unit. Also, clearly, one by three is less than half. One way to find a rational number between these numbers is to find the number which is exactly halfway between these numbers. In other words, we need that number's distance from zero. To do that, we must first find the distance between one third and half. And we know that it is equal to the difference between one third and half. Since the rational number we're looking for is exactly halfway between one third and half, let's divide this distance by two. What we get is half minus one third, the whole divided by two. But this represents the number's distance from one third. Hence, to find its distance from zero, we must add one third to this. This represents the rational number exactly halfway between one third and half. And this applies to any two rational numbers. If we place one third with a rational number A and half with another rational number B, then we can generalize this result as A plus half multiplied by B minus A. And because A and B are rational numbers, the result here will also be a rational number. If we simplify this expression further, we get A plus B upon 2 minus A upon 2 which is equal to a plus b the whole divided by 2. This is the average of the numbers a and b. It means that to find a number exactly halfway between the numbers a and b, we take the simple average of a and b. And to find more numbers, we take the average of a and the new number, or the new number and b, and so on. By this method, we can find as many rational numbers between two given rational numbers. That simple.